Hello everyone, I'm Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference of two common extenders. One is the normal Ethernet extender and the other would be the PoE extender. So the Ethernet extender is a device that looks like this, a small box which is powered by 12 volts power adapter and usually is used with a router here. So the router will transmit data through Ethernet cables for 100 meters. But if we want to go further than 100 meters, we're going to need one of these extenders. This little extending box will connect with the router and then to our IP devices. Once we could power up our router and our extender here, we just use an Ethernet cable to connect these two. And everything will be set. So that is a really easy setup. But disadvantage of an Ethernet extender is first, you can see that it needs an extra power source to connect to an electric outlet for providing the power to its device itself. And also, Ethernet technology is not that convenient compared to PoE technology. So usually, when we have like IP cameras or IP devices which is PoE enabled, we recommend to use a PoE switch to connect all these devices together. So a PoE switch is a device like this, much like a router, it has ports right here to connect IP devices. And the ports right here, these four, this is a very basic model, are these four ports have PoE signals output transmitted to the IP devices here. And like our router, it can only go 100 meters. If we want to go further, we're going to need the help from our PoE extender as well. And for a PoE extender, you can see that a very basic one input, one output PoE extender has only two places to plug in cables, which is an input port and an output port. And they both are Ethernet ports. This means when we use a PoE extender, since the PoE feature is very convenient, we don't need an extra power source. The PoE signal will be transmitted to our extender. And then the PoE signal will provide the power for the extender to power on. So our extender, basically, we don't need an extra power source. So when we're extending our network, we don't need to worry about power, power outlets near our extender. So there are also a lot of other different benefits from a PoE switch. So a PoE switch can upgrade our home network to a PoE network. And when it's a PoE network, whenever we're introducing new devices to our network, we don't need to worry about the power supply near our IP device. As long as our PoE switch has enough power budget to power those devices, it is always okay to just use an Ethernet cable and connect our device to our PoE switch. And for an extender, each extender can repeat the signal for another 100 meters and usually one input, one output PoE extenders, they carry up to three we can daisy chain three of these, and usually the bandwidth for a one, up, one input, one output is 100 megabits per second. Because it only extends the, uh, that long, it's not necessary for high bandwidth. If you are having a lot of IP devices and extending further on, you can use a one input, one output PoE extender. You can see this is much more bigger than this one input, one output. The one input, two output PoE extender has a metal casing which is waterproof, and also it has indicators on the top panel here for us to monitor the connection status very easily. And this one has a thousand megabits per second bandwidth, so it has the ability to carry up more IP devices or more users connected to the internet. And it has two output ports, so if we want to connect to two IP devices, it is always okay to use this one. And if we only want to use one port, it's okay, we can use this user waterproof gland and seal this port. And since this is the metal casing, the waterproof feature makes it very easy to install outdoors. So the extend PoE extenders, they don't need power, extra power sources, and they can help us repeat the signal for 100 meters also. And mostly they are waterproof. So it is a really beneficial device for our PoE network expansion. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.